So scrolls are the bad guys. Memories. Something in my past is the key to all of this. So, London Girl in one of the biggest movies right now, let them know, sis. What was the process and where were you when you found out that you got the job? The process, I have to say, was a long one because mm -hmm. I've been auditioning for Marvel over the last couple of years, really, for different projects. Mm -hmm. um, so it wasn't an overnight thing. Mm -hmm. um, it seemed like this one was overnight because I went in on the Tuesday, had a great audition, had a good yeah. time, went back in on the Friday enjoyed myself and then got it that night. Mm -hmm. um, and then when I found out, I was just like, you know, like in sobs of tears on the ground outside, <laughs> embarrassing myself with my just, two friends. Just outside on the floor, just uh, Of course, on the people's ground, like of course. Um, and it was my two friends from home as well. Mm -hmm. We were out to dinner and I got the call and then, yeah, How mad. Exciting. I know. You posted a picture on Instagram and you captioned it with, I got you back like Maria girl. Do you think you and Maria share any character traits and personality? I'm that, literally, I, mm. I try my best to um, be a supportive friend like Maria. And mm -hmm. if there's anything that she's taught me, it's that check in on your friends. Mm -hmm. Like, you just never know what they're going through. They might have had like some little stripping away of the persona <laughs> and then like some superpowers put into them <laughs> suddenly. You just Genial. never know. Yeah. So that also, it just gave me um, a newfound appreciation for single mothers, like mm. all around. Not like I didn't have one already, but mm. just seeing the great job that she does with Monica, mm -hmm. just saw, it just made me see, it just made me realize the kind of upbringing that I think a lot of us should be really fortunate to have. Yeah, definitely. In order, in being cultured and, yeah, yeah. I mean, experiencing life. Yeah. Your on-screen daughter, she has got a personality on her, doesn't Listen. she? Mm -hmm. Do you think, does she have a bossy to you? Like, no. does she ever tell you what to do? Like, No, she's so, she's honestly so, so <laughs> nice. I mean, she's in control of herself. Yeah. She knows herself. She knows exactly what to do. Mm -hmm. And I'd be like, come in and be like, so like, Akira, should we like stand? Should we sit? Should we hold oh, hands? Okay. And she'll be like, mm, I think we should um, do this. And I'll be like, great, whatever you say, girl. <laughs> and then the directors will be like, that was fab. And okay. I'll be like, it wasn't me. It was... It was her, I just kind of followed her. <laughs> so, my new acting coach. So you've got London um, under your wing and you've broke through Hollywood. What is next? I mean, I wouldn't say I've broken through Hollywood. I'd say that I've... Mm, I mean, yeah, don't well... Don't yourself, don't limit yourself. You I'm don't not, it. Oh, I'm not. It's just, you know, it's, it's a great moment in my career and I mm -hmm. feel very proud of it. There's so many different waves to experience though. There's mm -hmm. so much I want to represent. I'm glad that I represent so much or get the chance to in this movie mm -hmm. and that's special. But there's a ways to go and, and you, you can't let one movie just tell all the story. Yeah, there's, yeah. there's more to give. Um, but uh, yeah, I, I hope that just more in the future, more representation and more more things that I'm, that I'm proud about and care about. Mm -hmm. Yeah, more things that my, my mum and my friends can watch. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, and be yeah. like, that's me. That's my that's girl. <laughs> exactly, exactly. Thank you, thank you for your time and thank you for sitting with me.